Hi, my name is Jerry George, and i um, candidate for the Advisory Council. My profile has, already has some information on here, so I'll just give you some background for context. After studying in Ontario, Canada, um, bachelor's in economics, of all things, and Massachusetts, Boston, Massachusetts, I did a master's in management information systems. I returned to my home country with, back in 1995 with the aim of changing the ICT space. I came back to a country where we had telecoms monopolies and um, ICT was pretty much a new thing then. Having been exposed to the freedoms of the internet, I wanted to encourage this wonderful and transformative and democratizing technology called the internet to the islands. Who would guess? Crazy fella. Within the region, there was a, um, around that time, a project came out, an ITU-sponsored project, where they rolled out um, liberalized ICT, tele ICT legislation across the region, a project called HIPCAR, and they started having consultations. However, since I was initially outside of those um, circles of consultations. I opted to crash the sessions whenever they were held in, our, in my local space to ensure that the small and independent voice was heard. And it got to a point where I was eventually, I eventually became recognized and accepted as a strong and fearless advocate for liberalization of technology, for ICT, and, for, and we eventually saw liberalization in 2000 throughout most of the islands in the region. Following that, <clears throat> I was appointed on recommendation as the technical commissioner with the local telecoms regulator. That happened back in 2012, 2011, sorry. And I have been in that role since then, having been reappointed or appointed, um, renewed five consecutive times under four different governments. And for those of you who are familiar with the Caribbean, with Caribbean politics, you will accept that and understand that this is a testament of my effectiveness to bridge different governments. On my business card, I identify myself as an ICT consultant and also an open source evangelist. And I've been an ICT practitioner for almost 30 years. Started with the internet in the, just around the mid 90s when applying for internet numbers was something you did directly to um, the, um, following the National Science Foundation, I can't, uh, network solution, pre-network solutions as they stand now. And IP numbers were free. I have worked back home, I have worked to revive a then defunct ICT association, which I have served in different capacities and I currently serve as a president. Have initiated local chapters for ISOC, ICANN at Large, and other tech-related advisory and advocacy activities, as well as working to host Caribnog sessions, and one so far, hoping for more, Aaron in the Caribbean event. I first participated in Aaron events about the early 2010s, was a fellow in Aaron 37 and Aaron 41, and a mentor in Aaron 43. And while there have been lots of encouragement from my peers to participate and to involve myself more, I have been a bit reluctant. However, finally, I am here today. Having been a regulator, telecoms regulator since 2011, it has provided different perspectives for me, especially sitting across the table from ISPs, dealing with and helping to shape, tweak, and enhance legislation, regulatory legislation, government policy, and operational procedures to the benefit of stakeholders, including especially the user community. What do I bring to the table? In brief, commitment for a wider community perspective and continued involvement, continued advocacy on issues which impact the industry, promoting greater interest and engagement, primarily within the Caribbean space where I feel it is somewhat lacking. While not directly under Aaron's responsibility though, 
internet governance, which is also something quite important and becoming even more critical, these are privacy and consumer protection issues, particularly with the rapid expansion of big tech and internet platforms. And of course, increasing the Caribbean involvement, representation and participation, hoping that we continue to have a voice. I ask for your support, your confidence, and your vote. Feel free to engage me in, in the room outside at the social events and so on. Just walk up to me. I'll try not to bite too hard. Thank you. Thank you.